once we click the button our text that we add in this video I will be showing you how to add text to text view on button click let's get started what I'm going to do first is move this all the way to the side I do this just so I can have a bigger space a bigger workspace that's all but I want to make sure that I don't put it that will block my folders and everything but what we're gonna do is go to activity main and we'll be using this this text view so I'm not gonna delete it I'm just gonna leave it here and I'm gonna go to split I like to work in split because it's just easier to code it for me but some people like to work in design and that's perfectly fine too so I'm just gonna head back to split and I'm going to delete the text in this just so when we add the text you'll see that your text pops up I'm going to make this box size bigger so to do that I'm going to put text size and you can put it however big you want but for me I'm just gonna put 25 SP let me put something at least in it so it can see how big I want it to be let me see if I can try 40 just gonna input good morning okay good that's exactly how big I would want it to be I'm just gonna leave it as a space for now but what I'm going to do is add oh, we have an error I'm just gonna ignore this is not really gonna do anything so I'm just gonna add our button right here and put it right here when, when you're in constraint, constraint layout, do not forget to add your constraints or they will say, Android Studio will say you have an error. So I'm gonna go back to split and I'm going to give it an ID. I'll just call it add, add button. Once you do this, let's head over to main activity.java and we're going to initialize our widgets. So since we use text view, we're going to initialize text view. You can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it text view. Now we're going to do the same for the button. Button, and we'll just call it add button. And we'll just leave it like this. Now what I'm going to put in is an on-click listener. What this does is once you click the button, it does which it does the function that you put inside of this on-click listener. To show you an example, I'll do add button dot set on-click listener. We're gonna go with new view. Once this pops up, all we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot one big step to do. We have to also connect the widgets with their ID. So text view equals find view dot ID r dot ID dot and the ID that text view has. I didn't give it one, so I'll give it one right now. And we and we'll just put text. That's all. And we're just gonna put text here and then for button add button equals find your ID R dot ID dot add button so it's basically R dot ID dot the name you gave it the ID you gave it so inside this on click listener we're gonna do text view dot set text so since we want to put anything I'm just going to put green apples remember this on click listener does this function once the add button is pressed once this button is pressed now we're going to start up the emulator 
to test our app out. I'll hurry up and start it out so you don't have to wait. Now that the emulator has installed and loaded, once we click the button, our text that we added, Green Apple, comes up. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go on ahead and go to my channel and check out the other tutorials. Congratulations everyone, you did it. Mass Programmer out.